famous for pizza. And for Missouri State, Dorian Williams is not going to play today. As Rich told you, he's out with a hamstring injury. So it's Jared Dixon, a freshman from the Kansas City, Missouri area, Lee Summit West High School, who will get the starting nod today. And a reliable starting lineup for the Purple Aces, head coach of the Missouri State Bears. And we're ready to play with Paul Jansen giving the ball a toss. And it's Evansville on offense as we get started late on this Saturday afternoon from Springfield, Missouri. We hope you enjoy it. Missouri State starts in his zone. Look for Paul Lusk to show Evansville a number of different defenses. Starts with the 2-1-2, but they go right to the high post and Wing delivers. Adam Wing, to me, he's the glue to this lineup. They have the great score in Ballantyne, the terrific score and rebounder in Miscavige's. But Wing, he just seems to get things settled down if they do get out of control. He's that utility infielder, the glue guy, as you say. It does a lot of different things well. And there's the tip and the steal, Muscavichus over to Adam Wing. And Wing takes those shots like the one he hit, Rich. Those are shots he knows he can make. He doesn't seem to get out of his game much. Absolutely right. He mishandles it. And a nice drive the other way. And there's Jared Dixon getting the start today in place of Dorian Williams. John, that's going to be another key for Missouri State. Can they score in transition? Because this Evansville defense in the half court is going to be very stingy. Running the motion offense. The Purple Aces winning on Wednesday, 70-62 to over Indiana State. And the long outside shot won't go for Simmons. Blake Simmons, it's only about 20% from behind the arc, and the ball goes back to Missouri State. John, that was the third possession of the game for Missouri State on defense. It was already their second look. They had switched to a box and one. And Paul Lusk told us he's going to be switching defenses all day. He has to do that against the bigger, experienced Evansville team. And there's Opadaya Church with a miss on his first shot today. Wing, another rebound. D.J. Ballantyne, number 31. You can keep an eye on him today. With the ball fake, Brown moves in against the Missouri State defense. Playing the zone. The ball is tipped off the glass. And down to Kendricks. Chris Kendricks, a sophomore from nearby Willard, Missouri. Daquan Miller, number four. In on Brown. Pass almost a little too hot for Obadiah Church. Kendricks from the point. And it rolls off for Muscavichus. Muscavichus started the day 21 rebounds, shy of 1,000 for his career, and a turnover as the Aces weren't looking for the pass on the far sideline. And back to the Bears. Miscommunication between Brown and Wing, but that's what Marty Simmons was concerned with. The changing defenses paralyzing the Evansville offense in the half court thus far. Number 35 is Cameron Boone. Dixon running into traffic. Boone stepping up. Nice arc on the shot. And Cameron Boone, 30 minutes at Illinois State Wednesday, 12 points. He's averaging 13 a game. Missouri State has a 4-2 lead as we come down to 17 minutes to go here in the first half. Wing fouled. He'll be on the line shooting two. Jared Dixon with the first foul of the game. And Adam Wing, a football player. He was going to Marshall to play football as a quarterback. He has one more coming his way. He's 17 out of 20 from the free throw line now with that miss. I love guys who have played multi-sports in high school. Being an ex-football player, he's, he's got that toughness that he shows out on the basketball court. Now 4-3 lead for Missouri State with the ball. Number five is Church, and that's a three ball for Chris Kendricks. Kendricks shooting 32% behind the arc. He averages 9.9 .9 a game. Missouri State's out to a 7-3 lead. Valentine with the miss. Muscavichus. Muscavichus with the rebound and is knocked out of bounds, but there's an offensive board for him. Kendricks is a guy 
who is very capable of carrying this team, and you see a good job of pushing the defense back to the baseline and then freeing up Kendricks for the wide open three. Wing steps up. Simmons out high. 12 on the shot clock. Jalen Brown, the junior from Indiana, and that's a three ball. Those of you watching on TV, that was the fourth different defense. A diamond in one this time. A 7-6 lead in favor of Missouri State. We have 15-55 to go in the first half. As we get to our 58, Loyola drops to 0-2. Indiana State is 1-1. One one. Talking about winning on the road being difficult. Indiana State holds serve at home. And Boone inside, can't score it. Miscavichus slaps the ball away, and the crawl for Daquan Miller. Here come the Aces, hustling to the front court, wing at the point. Simmons hit the three ball from the corner a moment ago. Difference in this Evansville offense. DJ Ballantyne flashes through the middle instead of working the perimeter, able to free himself up. For the jumper. That's his first field goal of the day, averaging 21.7 a game. He has 2,072 career points now. One point lead. Missouri State with the lead and the ball. And the shot is short. Missed that time by Dixon. Miscavages gets into position in the high post now to the low post with the ball on the outside. It's Simmons. Wing looking low and around to Brown. Miscavichus inside. He muscles the shot in. He's averaging 18-3 a game. His first field goal. The Aces are up by one on the road here in the Valley. Bridger, I thought that was terrific ball movement by Evansville. The touches didn't last any more than a split second. It was great ball movement, but terrific people movement. Let's take another look, Johnny. You're going to see after that timeout, Evansville changing their offense. Guys cutting through the middle of the zone and forcing Missouri State to rotate, getting an easy one inside. Doing a great job of getting the ball to the baseline, and Muscavichus, he was able to score over Obadiah Church. Nice job of absorbing the contact keeping his footwork solid on the finish. Wing with the foul and the inbounds pass to Cameron Boone. Number 20 is Ryan Kretschlow. Here's the shot from the corner, and that won't go. Kretschlow, a freshman out of Columbia, Missouri, out of Rockbridge. Valentine with the long cross-court pass. Simmons was open, but didn't take it. Rajoya scores. Mislav Brazoya. And he shoots 44% behind the arc. And it's 13 to 9, Evansville. John, this is terrific ball movement. It doesn't stick in anyone's hands. Simmons draws the defense. Nobody steps out on Brazoya, and he delivers. John, mark my words, by the end of this season, Brazoya is going to be the top candidate for the sixth man of the year in the Valley. Here's Miller, and he'll take the shot. And a rebound for Muscavichus, the leading rebounder in the country. D.J. Ballantyne, the ball fake. Out of bounds, the ball belongs to Evansville with 21 on the shot clock. And a lead of 13 to 9 for the Aces. Simmons in, and the tip goes for Muscavichus. Off the miss by Brazoya. Four for Muscavichus. And a timeout of 15 to 9. It's through that tournament run. Well, how about the development for Gideus Muscavichus? We go back to uh, his first year at Evansville, where by the end of the season, he was a hard worker, and he was getting up and down the floor a little bit slower than the beginning, of course, and then next year. Had some injury troubles, and the ball's going to go back the other way right now, but 
He has really filled out, and he is a sensational inside player. NCAA March Madness is headed to St. Louis, and you can be there to share the experience with your family and friends. It's the 2016 NCAA Division I Men's Basketball Championship. The first and second rounds are March 18th and 20th at Scott Trade Center. Visit NCAA.com slash MBB tickets to score your tickets and view hospitality options. The miss by Brown, and boom with the rebound for Missouri State. Daquan Miller to the front court. Kendricks. Boone's open and knocks it down. He has four in the first half. That's where Boone is going to have to make his money today. The little short mid-range jumper to pull Igidius away from the basket. Valentine to Miscavichus. How many times have you probably heard that over the last four years? You're going to hear a lot more today, and that's <laughs> six for Miscavichus with Valentine getting the assist. 17-11, Evansville. Breck low. Kendricks. A three ball. He has two of those in the first half. That'll keep it close. A three-point game now in favor of Evansville. Brown with a stutter step move, keeping the dribble. Miscavichus out of the double team. And there is Ballantyne once by Daquan Miller. Simmons off the mark. And there is Daquan Miller. He averages right at three rebounds a game. That was the first possession where Missouri State showed man-to-man. -man. Inside and couldn't close the deal that time. Boone. And a hard pass. Kreklow scores. Ryan Kreklow's first field goal. But how about that hard pass to make sure that no one for Evansville could catch that one. And Valentine took the brunt of that one. He took it right off his noggin. Here's Ballantyne in and short. Fights for the loose ball. Out of bounds, and it will go to Missouri State. We have 11-13 left in the first half. JQH Arena in Springfield, Missouri. And uh, going for the ball at the baseline, and then Ballantyne took that one off the side of the head, and Ryan Kreklow did his first field goal off that pass. Now Missouri State trying to regain the lead, and we have a whistle and a foul off the ball. And it's on Christian Benson, the junior from Denmark, in the game now. 11.02 left in the first half. Kreklo taking the inbounds pass, watched by Ballantyne. And a nice save there by Kendricks. Here's a shot that won't crawl for number four, Daquan Miller. And a foul that goes against Tyler McCullough. McCullough just into the game. He's coming back from shoulder surgery and has been working his minutes up and up slowly. And he's whistled for the foul there. That was a solid box out as we see a little 2 2 1. See if they get sloppy. Evansville does. There you go. Kreklow was there for Missouri State. Now Kendricks. Kreklow on the outside for the Missouri State Bears. Trailing by one. Kreklow using up the dribble in heavy traffic, and uh, blocking fouls called as Obadiah Church dribbled into the lane. And the foul is on Benson. It's his second foul, two fast fouls. John, Missouri State looks very comfortable on the offensive end. Evansville has been allowing Missouri State to make cuts and get open looks. And they have taken advantage of it. Loomis Gehring, number three in, and Chris Kendricks goes out with six points. And Harris Brown, number 13 in the purple jersey, comes on. And then we'll give Jalen Brown a break. And here's Dixon. Loomis Gehring watched by Adam Wayne. And the sloppy pass results in a turnover. Harris Brown, number 13 at the point. Brazoia misses, and the follow won't go down. Wiley missed that. Missouri State pushing the tempo, and there's Miller scoring. 
Miller got away with that Euro step on the finishing transition. Been, Evansville slow three getting or back. four times that he's used that and no call so far. Heard somebody, one of the fans behind me saying he's dangerously close to walking. Valentine, the two-hand pass for Adam Wing, picked up by McCullough. Missouri State back in their box in one. Wing nails the baseline jumper. That's a two-ball. And he has five in the first half, averaging 7-4 a game. And, John, that's the difference in this year's team. Guys like Wing and Bezoya have picked up the slack when they have played box in one on Valentine. Dixon from the wing. Obadiah Church. Daquan Miller. Eight on the shot clock. Nine minutes on the first half clock. Miller in heavy traffic. Scores it! Uh, Daquan Miller has uh, six. The circus has come to town. 20 to 19, Missouri State. Valentine takes the shot and around to the corner for wing. I mean, inside for Wing with Rosoya making the entry pass. And there's Ballantyne, too strong off the glass. And Gehring gets the rebound. Thomas Gehring, a senior from Grandview, Missouri, averages just under three rebounds a game. Missouri State doing a much better job on the defensive glass. One and done. How much confidence is that giving Missouri State with the changing defenses and their success? Well, the ability to change your defenses gives you a new weapon, and the longer they stay around and make plays like Miller has just made on the last two possessions, it gives you confidence that can carry over into a W. And that's eight for Daquan Miller, the junior from Charleston, West Virginia. Valentine. There's Wing with the ball fake. Harris Brown. And McCullough with the rebound inside Brazoya. Tyler McCullough, Jr. from Fayetteville, Arkansas. Now Dixon in heavy traffic. McCullough is the outlet. That's a shot for three, and that will be three free throws coming up for Daquan Miller. Miller and Miller will shoot three. He was fouled by Harris Brown. Two more to go. Looking for something to do after the games during Arch Madness? The beautiful Grand Hall at St. Louis Union Station comes to life with a spectacular indoor light show every night. Enjoy cocktails in small plates along with the 3D panoramic show from 5 to 10 p.m. at Union Station. Visit grandhall-stl.com for more information. This one's in play now. It's 7.20 to go in the first half. And one out of three from the line. Nine points for Daquan Miller. Against a team like Evansville, Rich, uh, you need two out of three there. you got to make free throws to pull the upset. And a foul called against Jordan Martin. Martin's first foul. The fourth foul on Missouri State, so the team fouls are even at four now. With 7-10 to go in the first half. Ryan Krecklow, the freshman guard from Columbia, Missouri, back in. Paul Luss wanted to redshirt him, but because of injuries, he needed him, and Kreklow's getting some viable playing time. He's another guy who can make jump shots that he needs with Ruder out. Wing with the ball fake, and right there with the pick, it's Jordan Martin. Martin, a junior out of Hazelwood Central High School in the St. Louis area. Martin, one bounce of the ball, and then he finds Ryan Kreklow. Eight on the shot clock. And that was Gehring with the miss. Evansville trailing 23-19. Under six and a half to go and a reach in by Krecklow. John, I've been very impressed with Missouri State's shot selection today. And because of that, Evansville has not been out, been able to get any runouts in transition. And they've been forced to play in the half court. Missouri State very solid on the defensive end in the half as well. Cam and Boone back in for Missouri State. It's Evansville on the attack. Valentine, so far in the first half, he has two points. 
And off the miss by Brazoria. Here come the Bears with a lead of 23-19. Chris Kendricks, two three-point field goals. Crecklow all the way in, tried to drop it off for Martin, and the ball goes out of bounds. It's Missouri State's ball with 13 on the shot clock. That was off Rosoya. Well, Crecklow makes a nice move to get by him, but then dribbles into nowhere. Tough to tell if the official got that one right. Favors the home team. And off the miss by Kendricks, we have a foul. And that's on Missouri State. That was on Kendricks' first. We invite you to stay tuned for our halftime report, a presentation of State Farm, reminding you that we exist to assist. Daquan Miller in, and Crickle goes over to the bench. 16 fouls for Missouri State. And here's Brown stepping up, dropping it off. And a nice save inside from Muscavages. Valentine, too strong. Boone seals off inside. Evansville had some opportunities and good shots, good looks. Brown should have taken the first shot. Gideas thought he was going in for an offensive rebound for himself. Yet he came close to scoring. Martin uses up the dribble and traveling the call. That drives coaches nuts, doesn't it? Oh, it certainly does. Don't pick up the ball unless you know what you're going to do with it. Well, Adam Wing made an outstanding play, denied the receiver and forced the turnover. 23-19 Missouri State with 520 left in the first half. Lazoya inside for Wing. Good ball fake, and he couldn't score it. Muscavich just can't get his hands on the ball because Cameron Boone does. And here's Daquan Miller. Miller has scored nine in the first half. 23-19, Missouri State. Five minutes to go until halftime. Boone, Church, and in the volley, it goes to D.J. Valentine. To Brown, who ran right into heavy resistance from Jared Dixon. Dixon got back, did a good job getting back defensively. Good hustle play by Missouri State, but an easy one. And Brown took his eye off the ball because Dixon had gotten back on the defensive end. Good transition D by the Bears. And now it's Miller at the point. He's watched by Jalen Brown, junior from Fishers, Indiana. Dixon. Valentine is with him. Boone in on wing. Nine on the shot clock. Miller splitting the double team. Kendricks short this time. And there's wing for the Purple Aces. Slav Brazoia in the front court. Good bounce pass for wing. And a steal for Missouri State. Dixon, Brown broke it up, and a foul on Brown. Jalen Brown reaching in for the steal, commits his first, and that will be the fifth team foul for Evansville. Well, Wing gets caught with indecision. When he catches the ball at inside, it's either a kick out for a three or a turnaround jump shot. He tries the interior passing, and Missouri State comes away with a steal, but... The initial offense for Evansville has been solid, but they haven't been able to make that second or third pass in the last four minutes to convert and finish a play. Yeah, Dixon made a nice play to start that. And Missouri State now with the ball. Inside four minutes to go in the first half. There's Boone and a loose ball. That's saved by Kendricks. 15 on the shot clock. Miller stops and pops, and he gets to the free throw line again. And we're going to break. Miller will be on the line when we come back with Missouri State leading 23-19. But the number that jumps out at you is Ballantyne with only two thus far. And you'll remember a year ago, he only had seven when, they, when he came to Springfield. So this has not been a kind place to him for the first three halves of a game. And here's Miller. He has scored 10. Now 11. Go, 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 go. 
25-19 Missouri State. Valentine picking up the loose ball. Lazoya inside. Lazoya turns it over. Miller in the front court. Nice pass to the cutting Jared Dixon. Dixon has four. Missouri State has done a pretty good job passing the ball in the first half to a 27-19 lead. Movement away from the basketball has been outstanding, as you saw in that last possession. And we've already seen three times tonight where Evansville has tried to force the ball inside to Miscavige. And Miscavages. there it is to Miscavigeous, who has eight. And that time, they don't pass up a good shot. They just throw it right to him. Got to pound it inside to the big guy. Kendricks or Obadiah Church. Jared Dixon takes the shot. Oh, it won't go down for him. The scavengers with the rebound. Benson all the way in, drew the contact. And there was a foul before Benson left his feet to initiate the shot. Well, Benson sees a gap. And they called the foul at the, before he left the ground. So he's going to get two instead of a basket. Now Cricklow back in for Missouri State with Dixon going over to the bench. Benzen on the line. And did not draw iron on the front end of a one and one. Missouri State's ball out of bounds. Register to win a St. Louis Arch Madness VIP package, including all session tickets for the State Farm MVC Men's Basketball Tournament. Hotel accommodations and tickets are part of the package to St. Louis area attractions. Log on to ExploreStLouis.com for complete details. Church was open, but short with his shot. Boone kept it alive for Missouri State. Here's Miller shooting 4-3 and a rebound from Miscavige's. Gideon Miscavigeous, the leading rebounder in the country, is nine in the first half. Simmons cutting, couldn't hang on to the pass. Back come the Bears. Kendricks, short. Miscavigeous with his 10th rebound. He's 11 shy of 1,000 rebounds for his career. And we have a foul called against Valentine. His first foul. John, that's the 10th turnover for Evansville, and you can see the frustration on the Purple Aces' faces. You saw Ballantyne a little upset after that call, but with each passing possession that they fail to score, they get a little bit tighter, and they just have to go back to understanding that, hey, we got a whole half to play yet. Daquan Miller has enjoyed a good first half and double figures with 11. Rick Lowe, Boone out high. Kendricks takes the bounce pass, shoots over. Miscavigeous can't score, and there's Miscavigeous with his 11th rebound in the first half. Playing in Ballantyne. Simmons inside, Miscavigeous can't score it because he is fouled by Cameron Boone. The first on Boone, and Miscavigeous will be on the line where he's a 70% shooter. Muscavichus with eight points. One more coming his way with 120 to go in the first half. And that rattles in. He has nine points in the first half. Here's Boone, and he is blocked off. And a foul against Evansville. We'll stop the clock with a minute five to go until halftime. Miscavichus with his first foul. That's Chris Kendricks on the free throw line. 27-22, Missouri State. One more for Kendricks. Oh, 
McCullough into the lineup with Cameron Boone going over to the bench. One more shot here for Kendricks. Give him seven in the first half and a six point lead. Valentine into the front court. Blake Simmons. Valentine, a little light with the touch on that shot and a foul against Missouri State. Valentine will shoot two. Second foul on McCullough. Two shots here for Valentine. Valentine, the top scorer in the Missouri Valley Conference and the NCAA's active leading scorer with 2,072 points. That's 73. And the shot's in play with 52 seconds left in the first half. We have the State Farm Halftime Report coming up, including a visit with both coaches. At the end of the half, we'll hear from Paul Lusk. And the second one funnels in for Ballantyne. That's four for Ballantyne. Now, under a minute to go in the first half. Miller blocked by Muscavichus. And that's another side of the game. Coach Z that we uh, are seeing now for the first time here in the first half from Muscavichus. The rebounds, the scoring, and then the block shots. You know, he's making sure that it is dangerous to come inside. He did there. 20 on the shot clock now for Missouri State. Miller bouncing low, man. McCullough, or Boone scores it. Boone has six. Terrific recognition by the Missouri State offense. They understand that Boone has the size and strength advantage on wing, and they take advantage of it down low. Have three seconds difference, the game clock and the shot clock. Valentine running the show right now. Miscavichus setting the pick. Here's Wing, and he drops in a three-point field goal with time running down in the first half. Adam Wing, Miller off the glass, so close. But Adam Wing with a three-point field goal closes out the... That was at Illinois State in a loss to the Redbirds, 74 to 61. And Edna Prowley presents the second half of our Missouri Valley Conference Game of the Week. And here's Daquan Miller, Missouri State in white, Evansville in purple. Down if you're Missouri State, you keep doing what you're doing. Change your defenses, keep attacking on the offensive end. The one key in the first half offensively for them, they were able to beat Evansville off the dribble. And you can see Kendricks beat Simmons off the dribble there and draw the foul. First foul on Blake Simmons, uh, first foul here in the second half. Missouri State with the ball. Number 11 is Jared Dixon. Here's the shot by Boone, short for Muscavichus, and officially that's 10 rebounds. He averages 13-9 a game, leading the nation in rebounds. Wing hit a three late in the first half to make it a three-point ball game. Here's Brown stepping up and hitting his first shot today. His first shot in the second half makes it a one-point game. The question will be, will that wing shot at the end of the first half give them that momentum and see Brown finally get on the board? Miller picked up the dribble, and Jalen Brown was all over him, so we take a timeout with 19.02 to go. In the Come over with a bucket. They had to call the timeout. And by the time Boone got out there, timeout had been called. It out of the timeout. Here's Kendricks with nine points. That time when the ball went to Boone in the post, good movement without the basketball. Kendrick, an easy one. Here's Wing, short this time. He hit a three late in the first half. Boone with the rebound. Missouri State had such good ball movement and movement without the ball in the first half, building a three-point lead. Boone was able to get Miscavichus off his feet, but Boone could not finish the play. He heard footsteps. He had fired them all the way over here. And on the drive, Jalen Brown will get to the free throw line. The MVC fan hangout is the perfect gathering place before and after games during Arch Madness. It's located in Ballpark Village in downtown St. Louis, just across the street from Bush Stadium. For additional information, visit archmadness.com slash fans. And boom with the foul, his second. Brown with one for two from the free throw line. Kendricks is there for Missouri State. 
And it's a two-point lead. A lead for the Bears, and they have the ball. Dixon, and he telegraphed that pass. Brown dunks it. Jalen Brown with the steal, with the basket, give him five, and a uh, tie game at 32. Well, Brown, who's got an extended playing time because of the injury to Dwayne Gibson, has taken advantage of it. Very good defender, read that all the way. Circling back out, Dixon at the point. Daquan Miller, eight on the shot clock. Boom with the pick, and by going back door, Dixon scores. Dixon has six. Missouri State back in front by two. And Missouri State in the zone. And a pass to Rich Devosic. I was open. Let's go back to the last exchange for Missouri State. Well, he draws two defenders. Rotation by wing is slow, and then they take advantage. But how about Brown? Nothing slow about that play. 34-32 Missouri State, and Daquan Miller at the point for the Bears. McCullough in the game now, the big guy out of Fayetteville, Arkansas. Kendricks lost a handle on it. Brown gives it up. Simmons can't score it, but he's there for the loose ball. Brown and Wing playing catch. Valentine, and we have a foul call. And this is on number 11, Jared Dixon, his third foul. That can be a problem for Missouri State. The freshman just picked up his third. Certainly can, but on that last play, John, that's the little things that Adam Wing does. He hustles down the floor, gives them a second shot after Simmons misses the initial attempt. We were talking Wing. about Mr. Wing. Wing right on cue. He has 10 and a tie game at 34. Here's Cricklow. McCullough inside. And he can't score it. And out of bounds. The scavengers was calling for timeout, but he was on the end line. Well, it's getting physical inside, and McCullough, after getting the offensive rebound, just isn't able to finish. And Miscavige just, just rolls out of bounds. And they're clarifying that now with Marty Simmons that it was an out of bounds play, where Marty Simmons is saying, hey, the contact generated a foul, didn't it? Well, but it was made, out of bounds. He made the mistake of bringing the ball down. A quick pass to Tyler McCullough avoided a turnover. Church scores it. That's his first field goal, and he'll be on the line. This is terrific recognition by Missouri State. They see when Boone is guarded by wing, they go inside. This time, Church guarded by wing in the post, and Church with a chance for a three-point play. 6-7 freshman out of Springfield, Illinois. Obadiah Church. And Miscavigus with the rebound. 36-34 Missouri State. And Valentine scores. He has six. His average for the season, 21-7. Nice catch by Krecklow. McCullough at the point. Plenty of time on the shot clock at 15. And Daquan Miller will bring it back out to reset. Miller stopping and popping. And good hands by Church. Miller. And there's Miscavichus. Gideus Miscavichus, the senior from Lithuania. There's Valentine open just enough to get the pass, and he'll be on the line. DJ Valentine will be on the free throw line when we come back from a timeout from Springfield, Missouri. Come home to shoulder problem and surgery during the offseason, and his minutes are beginning to go up, up, and they really need him, Rich. 
Well, he has been a defensive force the last three games. Five block shots. He's made his presence known. Valentine on the line after the timeout. The seventh point for Valentine. And Evansville's first lead since 1918 at the 929 mark in the first half. That rims out to Boone. John, this is going to be a key possession early in the second half. This is the first time that Missouri State, as you mentioned, is now playing from behind. Let's see how they respond. Oh, and it cooled away right to Jalen Brown. Valentine on the dunk. Brown with the assist. Nine for D.J. Valentine. And Ryan Crecklow with the pass. Read well by Jalen Brown, who's done that twice already now in the second half. He dunked the first steal and gets an assist on this one. Brown reading the pass, his eyes, and then being unselfish at the end of the play. Brecklow guarded by the experienced D.J. Valentine. Kendrick, and a long rebound for Blake Simmons. Valentine with a two-hand pass. Brown gives it up to Simmons, shooting a three. There's Valentine missing the putback. Miscavichus is fouled as he was able to get the ball at the end line. And that's on Tyler McCullough. It's his third personal foul. And the fourth team foul on Missouri State in the second half, putting Miscavichus on the line where he's going for double figures in the scoring column. He has 10 points. And 15 rebounds. That's his 13th double-double this season. He is a double-double machine, and a big reason for that is he's always been a terrific free-throw shooter. Seven, over 70% this season again. 11 for Muscavichus and a 41-36 lead for Evansville. This is a big trip down the floor now for the Bears, down 41-36. The Bears had a 13-point lead at Illinois State. Boone can't score. But how about Obadiah Church? He has four in the game. And a steal by Church. Or excuse me, a steal by Dixon. And on the other end, it's out of bounds to Missouri State with 26 on the shot clock. But Church on one end and Dixon on the other. John, you're going to see help side by wing. He comes to double Boone, and Simmons is late on rotation, and Church is going to just flush it down. Now it's Daquan Miller to inbound. Looking for some help. And the lay-in goes. Dixon has eight. Dixon found just enough of an opening along the baseline to score his fourth field goal. I like this young freshman from Lee Summit West. And contact was drawn. A foul on Boone, his third. You're going to see Dixon just be slippery inside on the out-of-bounds play. Well diagrammed, well executed. Dixon finishes it off. Younger brother of Michael Dixon, played at Mizzou and finished his career at Memphis. The foul was on Kendricks, not on Boone. Two fouls for Kendricks and now two for Boone. And now 41-40 lead for Evansville. With Missouri State trying to get the lead back. Missouri State led by three at halftime. Miller will bring it back out. Here is Boone and a foul. And this is on Boone. That's his third foul. And unfortunately, Daquan Miller set Boone up for this one. He makes a tough catch in traffic, and Wing does a nice job of stepping up to take the charge. Now you have a decision if you're Paul Lusk. You don't want Boone to pick up a fourth this early in the second half with only being a one-point deficit. He's going to bring him to the bench. 
give him a couple of minutes. We've had a low scoring game here, Rich. 41 40. Evansville with the lead and the ball. Wing at the point. Valentine. Now, Evansville is a team that leads the conference in scoring. And Missouri State was number 10 coming into the game in defense. But today they have shut Evansville down. Third foul on Chris Kendricks. Muscavichus goes to the line. Where he's made three in a row. He's three out of four from the line today. Looking for point number 12. Nice rotation. He got the crawl. This one's in play at 12.33 to go in the second half. Nevinsville up by two. But you're right about the free throw touch, Rich. That's five in a row for Miscavages. When post guys can make free throws, that's icing on the cake. Thompson number one, Robin Thompson, Richard freshman out of St. Louis in the game. Church on the bounce, and that's intercepted. There's another big steal for Jalen Brown. Valentine to the in line, and he stepped out. Turnover, Evansville. Terrific defense on both ends. Brown with the steal, and then watch him put his foot on the baseline. Bam. And I'm not talking about Valentine, I'm talking about Church. Moving those puppies and sealing it off, forcing the turnover. With a three, Missouri State can tie it. And a foul on Brazoia. That's his first. Well, you get that contact out there with the body or just reach in. That's one of the points of emphasis on... Uh, That's a change from a year ago, as you're right, John. No foul call there. Incidental contact. Church with the ball out high. He gives it up for his point guard, Daquan Miller. Kendricks. And Church with the ball. And we have an elbow called against Brazoia. So it's Missouri State's ball when we come back. And Evansville, it could have been a much wider margin. But the substitutes for the three guys who are hurt, Craig Clough, Dixon, and Church, especially Dixon and Church here in the second half, have come up big in the absence of some of the upperclassmen in Reuter and Williams who have been hurt. Church at the point near steal for Jalen Brown, who's been reading that lane the whole second half. And a foul will put Daquan Miller on the line. It's dangerous. David Howard into the game, and he commits a foul. John, it's dangerous when you throw the ball in Jalen Brown's direction if you're a Missouri State Bear. Even if you bounce it. <laughs> I mean, he's been reading the eyes of the point guard well the second half. Another free throw coming up for Daquan Miller. Three out of five in the first half from the free throw line. He looks for his 12th point here with the shot in play at 11.32 to go in the game. And off the bench, number 55, Egidius Miscavichus. He comes in with David Howard going out. It's Howard, the redshirt junior from Nashville, committed the foul. At least Miller's had a, a solid game, 12 points as you mentioned, but only zero turnovers and four assists without Dorian Williams in the game. That's that's big for the Bears. Wing. That's Valentine. Valentine has scored nine. Nine on the shot clock. Jalen Brown. He'll spin. Miscavichus throws up an air ball. And there is Wilmus Gehring, senior from Grandview, Missouri. All the way in, and a foul called, sending Jared Dixon to the line. Miscavichus with his second foul. And you see solid defense, good rotation. And then Egidius swats down and gets his hand caught in the cookie jar. Well, there's another miss from the free throw line for the Bears. This one's in play now with 10.53 to go in the second half. Yes, 
They missed both and a foul on Robin Thompson. That's his first foul going over Egidius Miscavige's. Today's date in MVC history is brought to you by the 2016 State Farm MVC Men's Basketball Tournament at Scott Trade Center in St. Louis. January 2nd, 2005, Missouri State rally from a nine-point halftime deficit as Connor Chaney and Stephen Mitchell both scored 15 in the 78-75 win over Evansville at the Hammond Student Center. The March Madness at the Arch comes your way March 3rd through the 6th as Arch Madness returns to St. Louis for a 26th great year. For more information, visit Arch Madness. Dot com. That's 14 for Miscavige's. Missouri State not having to come from nine point down in this game, but trying to pull off the same upset. Miscavige's with a miss. He has 14 points, averaging 18-3 a game. And a three-point lead for Evansville. Kendricks on the pivot. Church around to Jared Dixon. Kendricks, and he was fouled. And that's Brazoia. His third foul. The 17th foul, one and one now for Missouri State. As Evansville is in the bonus after eight team fouls for Missouri State. That's 10 for Kendricks, coming off a five-point game in 28 minutes at Illinois State on Wednesday. And he averages 10 points a game. Nice stroke there. He has 11. And it's a one-point lead for the Purple Aces. As Adam Wing will inbound to Jalen Brown. Wing in the corner. Good feed to Miscavages, who gets to the free throw line. 16 for Egidius Miscavages. This is a play call from the bench against the zone defense. And the ball swings and Ballantyne screens away, and you can't switch and leave Ballantyne alone. But what happens is if you don't get ball pressure, the Gideas gets an easy one. 47-43, Evansville. Evansville trying to protect some players with foul trouble. They go to the 2-3 zone. And there is the dump pass toward the baseline and back out to Jared Dixon. Miller weaving all the way in, can't score it. And there's Miscavige's. Valentine takes the outlet. And that's out of bounds. Off Missouri State. From our angle, looked like Brazoria perhaps last touched the ball, but the call goes Evansville's way. In transition. Ballantyne maybe should have pulled up and shot that. John, I think the officials got it right. I think Garrett got a hand on it. And just went over Brazoria. Evansville's ball with 18 on the shot clock. Brazoria is there to help out Brown. On the shot clock, Brown from the free throw line, and a late foul. That's called on Robin Thompson. Well, after the shot, Brown will be on the free throw line. John, we've seen at least seven times today where the jump shooter gets fouled. That's a cardinal sin. Don't put the guy on the line. That's six for Brown. Nine thirty-three left in the second half. Oh, nice rebound inside by Obadiah Church. Evansville struggling at the free throw line. They shoot over seventy-one percent as a team. Sixty-two percent today. Only two out of six for Brown from the line. Kendricks looks for help, and there it is, Daquan Miller. Five on the shot clock. Miller dumps it low, and with two on the shot clock, it will not go down for Church. 
Nice recovery by Jalen Brown. Five point lead for Evansville. Inside nine minutes left in the second half. Wing calling for the ball. Goes to Wing in the corner for a three attempt. Adam Wing has 13, including two three point field goals. He's a solid player. He talked about it is. many times on our telecast today. He just kind of ties it all together for the Purple Aces. Shooting today almost as good as he did against Arkansas when he had a perfect night in route to 21 points. One of the two losses by Evansville, Arkansas, and Providence the other. Double team from the baseline and a nice save by Boone. Here comes Evansville the other way as time was running out on the shot clock. Brown all the way in. Rosoria can't handle it. And here come the Bears. There's Kendricks. Here's Boone, and he made an extra pass. A foul called. And this is on Muscavages, his third. And that takes us to a commercial break. It putting Evansville in the double bonus the rest of the way. In the meantime, here is Boone. Boone is on the line for the first time today, a 77% free throw shooter. And he missed the front end of a one and one. Seven out of 15 from the free throw line for Missouri State today. If you're going to pull the upset, you need to make your free throws. An interesting decision by Marty Simmons. He keeps Miskevichus in the game with three fouls. Scavages wanted goaltending there as he's fouled, and he'll shoot two shots. Kevin Boone, that's his fifth foul. He fouls out with 7.30 left to play. The question is here whether it's goaltending. He watches the ball. Oh, that's, that's definitely goaltending. The ball had hit the backboard. The only thing that the official may have thought is it didn't have a chance to go in and perhaps thought it was below the rim, but in slow motion, that looked like goaltending. Two shots here for Gideus Muscavichus. He has 18 points. Muscavichus connects on both. John, we talked about it before the game that Igidius needed 21 rebounds to hit 1,000. And I said to you, ah, I don't think that'll happen tonight. He has 18 right now to go along with 19 points. Here's Daquan Miller as Boone is fouled out of the game. Thompson, number one in there. Obadiah Church setting the pick. Miller stopping and popping. Here's Ballantyne to the front court, switching hands. And a blocking foul call. That's on Dixon, his fourth. Let's take another look at its bang-bang play. And, yeah, I think he got it right. He was still moving. Watch Ballantyne as he's going to in and out. Dixon just sliding sideways, just a hair. Two shots for D.J. Ballantyne, the senior from Kokomo, Indiana. Here's point number 11. That's what Ballantyne's looking for, number 11 today, with seven minutes to go in the second half. And it's 55-43, Evansville. As the game is beginning to get away from the Missouri State Bears. Thompson out and Ryan Kreklow in. Well, if you're Missouri State, you are without an inside presence with Boone on the bench, playing basically four and a half guards. They try and space the floor, and there's Brown again. They tried the bounce pass this time. Brown with the steal and the basket. He has eight points. And a foul on. Valentine, his second foul. Jalen Brown makes that steal because he runs to where the ball is going. So often you see players see a pass come over and they try and run through the line of the ball. 
You got to run to where it's going and you will get there first. Miller on the line here. Shooting one and one. And another miss and there's a rebound for Egidius Miscavichus. We had a horn but they play on. Brown. Helped out by Brazoia. Wing in the corner. Valentine open. That's all he needed. That's a three. He has 14. Averaging 21-7 a game, and he's beginning to feel it here in the late going of this one. Dixon pulling up, and he was blocked. Miscavichus is there for Evansville. Valentine runs into the freshman Preclo. The second foul on Preclo. So Gideas has his 1,000th career rebound. Third all-time at Evansville. Also ties the JQH arena record of 21 rebounds. Josh Cunningham of Bradley in a three-overtime game, February 25th, 2015. John, in that replay, I think Paul Lusk has something to argue about. Ballantyne extended the elbow, but the senior gets the call over the freshman. Paul Lusk not happy with it. Ballantyne with the free throw. It's a 62-43 lead for Evansville. Breslow lost the handle on that one. And... We have the ball out of bounds to Evansville. You can see knocked away. Good call by the official over and back. Now Ballantyne in the front court. An 18-0 run for Evansville. The last four minutes and 23 seconds. Oh, great catch by Miscavichus. And he has 21 points. The set play where you screen with Ballantyne. You can't switch. And a blocking foul is called on Miscavichus, his fourth foul. This is a set play they've ran a number of times. And what you don't see is DJ Ballantyne sets that screen and it's the Ballantyne effect because you're so afraid of him getting a jump shot, you don't want to leave him. Consequently, the defensive man is now put on Miscavish's back and he finishes. Church goes to the line after Miscavish has committed his fourth foul of the day. Another one coming up here for Church. John, you can really see the experience factor of Evansville take over in the second half. You've got seniors who have won quite a few games. They won a championship last year. They come back on a mission trying to win the Missouri Valley for the first time in their careers. Well, Miscavich just goes over to the bench with 21 points, 21 rebounds. David Howard, 44, is in the game. And a steal for Obadiah Church. Hendricks passing low for Thompson. And that goes down. Church has seven points. The freshman from Springfield has been active on the glass all day long. He's got a bright future for the Bears. Uh, Jalen Brown slows the pace, running some time running off the clock. 15 on the shot clock. The ball fake for Valentin. Wing steps up. Nice push on the shot. 15 for Wing. He came in averaging 7-4 a game. But he's had good looks. Kendricks uses up the dribble. Crack low. And a rebound for David Howard, Redshirt Jr. out of Nashville, Tennessee. 66-46, Evansville. Valentine looking back door. The pass isn't there, so Howard finds Jalen Brown. 
Azoya for Valentine with eight on the shot clock and a foul called on Kendricks, his fourth foul. Valentine will step back to the free throw line. He has 16 points today. The first of two. 409 left in the second half, and boy, things got away fast for the Bears in a short amount of time here in the second half. Well, it was that defensive spurt that single-handedly was put on by Jalen Brown as he makes two steals that led to six points, and, or excuse me, five points, and it really gave them the working margin. A steal for Bazoya, head to Brown, and he'll bring it on out. And he tries to score and is fouled by Robin Thompson, the third on Thompson. So the Aces will be on the line. We'll wait for by Purina Dog Chow. For every dog, there's a dog chow. And you see both teams are over the 10 foul mark. So each team is in the double bonus. Evansville with three timeouts left. Missouri State had to burn a quick timeout right out of the gate in the second half. And the possession arrow favors Evansville. Brown, another free throw. This one's in play with 3.54 to go, and Brown has scored nine today. Nine points to four steals, and his steals have led them back. And Kendricks was fouled with Wing jumping into him, the third foul by Wing. So Kendrick missed the shot, but he goes to the free throw line. If there has been one Achilles heel on the defensive end for Evansville today, it's been fouling the jump shooter. Two here for Kendricks. He's made four in a row from the free throw line and is 12 points. Kendricks is five out of six from the free throw line. With full court pressure by the Bears. Twenty point lead for Evansville with the ball. Rosoya throwing low and Thompson is called for holding David Howard. Four fouls on Robin Thompson. Well, Bazoya trying to get the ball inside to Howard. It just shows you the, the culture of unselfishness and offensive efficiency that Marty Simmons has built here at Evansville. And 75 percent of their field goals are assisted field goals. Tonight or today, it's 21 field goals on 15 assists, and that that means that you've got guys who are very unselfish, also guys with high basketball IQs. One more here for Howard. The foul on Thompson was his fifth, so he fouls out with 3.28 to go. And Howard scores two. He is 14 out of 24 now from the free throw line. 70-48 Evansville. Dixon and Kreklow. And that goes for Dixon. Dixon has 10. I like this freshman from Lee Summit West. He's a shot maker. 70 to 50 Evansville. Evansville going for its 13th win. Going for two in a row in the win column right out of the gate in the Missouri Valley Conference. See, Missouri State in man-to-man. -man. They're just going to space the floor. Valentine rattles that in. He has 19. Just shy of his 21.7 per game average this season. It's a quiet 19. Kendricks with contact, and he gets the basket. Kendricks has 15. He'll be looking for number 16. Kendricks showing his ability to put the ball on the deck, and finish in traffic. And he's another young guy that Paul Lusk can build around the sophomore. Has the ability to shoot the three and also 
score off the bounce. DJ Ballantyne's third foul puts Kendrick on the line where he converts on the three-point play, giving him 16. Two and a half to go in the game. Jalen Brown had a terrific defensive second half. That's just going to space the floor. There is no, there's no more closely guarded five-second count, so you can dribble for as long as you want out there. Now with four on the shot clock, shot is short. Daquan Miller. And goaltending called against David Howard. 14 for Miller. Miller's going to push the ball in transition. It's all the way. Easy call for the official. Inside two minutes to go in the game. Valentine picked up quickly by the freshman Ryan Kreckler. Valentine near midcourt. Mislav Brazoia. John, people are going to look at this final score and think that Evansville just controlled the game from start to finish as we see Brazoia get fouled, but Missouri State really controlled the action with the changing defenses in the first half and really wasn't until about midway through the second half that Evansville got their, their sea legs, so to speak, and their experience paid off. Number three, Loomis Gehring in with Kendrick fouling out at 134 to go in the game. Boone, Kendrick, and Thompson have fouled out for Missouri State. And Christian Benson comes in. Valentine goes over to the bench. And Brazoia's on the free throw line. Brazoia was able to initiate and force the contact and get to the free throw line where he makes his fourth point of the day. 134 to go. And Brazoria scores his fifth point. And Vucetic, Sergei Vucetic, a redshirt junior from Serbia. Played at Nebraska, number 14 now in the game for Evansville. A pass low. Back out for Kreklo, and he'll be on the free throw line. With the foul called on Brazoia, his fourth. And number 20, Ryan Kreklow gets to the free throw line. 6'4", 176-pound freshman from Columbia, Missouri, out of Rockbridge High School. He played 14 minutes at Illinois State Wednesday, scoring six. With high arc on the free throw, he has three in this game today against the Evansville Purple Aces. Some great bloodlines as... Parents played volleyball at Missouri, his, or at least his mother did. His father is the volleyball coach there. His older brother finished his career at Creighton. He's going to be a, an outstanding player. He's one of the guys that Paul Lusk wanted to redshirt this year. But because of all the injuries, he had to take off the redshirt. Get him on the floor. Daring in for Jared Dixon. Very young. Missouri State team. Miller couldn't find the basket on the close-in shot. Benson with the rebound for Evansville. Inside a minute to go in this Missouri Valley game from Springfield, Missouri. And we have traveling called against Vucetic. Missouri State's ball. And in the backcourt, number 20, Ryan Checklo. Evansville will go to 13-2, and 2-0 and in the Valley. John, one of the good early season matchups coming up in a few days, January 6th. Evansville will go to Wichita State. That'll be a terrific game. And with the matchup tonight, Northern Iowa at SIU. Barry Hinson has the... Saluki's playing with tremendous confidence. Have another free throw coming up here for Jordan Martin. 
Six minutes at Illinois State Wednesday, and he went one for two from the line. And two for two here. He's a junior from St. Louis, Missouri, Hazelwood Central High School. And the dunk. The Chetich was all alone under the basket. Inside 30 seconds to go in this one. And that's mishandled. Zoya into the front court. Holds on to the ball, and time is taken. Timeout, Evansville with 14. In the second half, just shut it down on both ends of the floor. And uh, Harris Brown runs out the clock for Evansville, and the Purple Aces wins.